Hello. This is a very big Dr. Pepper. It's, it's, it's huge. I got a big one. Mm -hmm. I also got some candies. I'm surprised that they didn't melt. Well, they're already kind of, they feel melted together. Some of them aren't. Let's see. Don't use your teeth to get things open. It's not good for them. Yeah, they're okay. Mmm. I will die on the hill of um, gummy candy superiority. One second. We've got to turn this off. Because we're not playing any ordinary game today, guys. We're playing Undertale Yellow. If I would, uh, grab the correct game here. There we go. Perfect. I always think it's so silly because I play this game in such a small... Uh, oh, literally just realized that this is the reason why I had, um, to resize, hang on, this is the reason I had to resize Little Nightmares when we played, because I just changed the source, and it was sized up because Undertale Yellow needs to be sized up, that's crazy. Crazy that I just now realized that. Okay. And audio's on. We're good to go. I'm sorry, this stream, you're going to hear a lot of um, crunching. Because I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna finish my gummies. Let's go. Good music. Okay. I don't quite remember what we were just doing. We came up this elevator. We're here. Oh, yeah. The machines that are making the rocks go. Which is so silly. Oh, yeah! There, uh, we... L something or other. And we had to fight him. And I fought him, like, three times. And I... I kept missing. Kept losing. It's him. Hi. I, El Balador, have tasked myself with confrontation. The air is much too quiet, too dreary. You make no noise when you move. You lack rhythm, feeling, fervor. If I did not know any better, I might have mistaken you for a sentinel of silence. No, no, this will not do. You must prove to me that you have what it takes. What it takes to live a life of richness. I challenge you to dance. Alright. Yeah! Dance Dance Revolution! To truly find oneself, they must ignite a passion within. Let us do! This is a little loud for me in my headphones. Hang on. Turn it down. Okay. One and two. Oh, Z. Whoops, I forgot. Okay. It's time to dance. Uh, we'll do a twirl. You clumsily spin around. El Balador appreciates the effort. That was much too simple. Let us try this. Okay.
The sounds of a thousand trumpets echo around you. Hmm. El Balador, attack nine, defense seven. The definition of passion. Oh, whoops. I meant to do twirl. I didn't mean to do stare. This upsets him. <laughs> Oh, Baldor glides around the dance floor with ease. This is what I live for! Oof, okay. <laughs> we missed one there. El Baldor strikes a motivating pose. A life without dance is empty, I say. All right. Bam, 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 bam. That wasn't too bad. I feel like I'm definitely doing better than last time. Smells like disco. <laughs> you clumsily spin around. He appreciates the effort. Okay. Others say the dance can also take life away. I do not see what they mean. Eagle lights around the dance floor with ease. A world of solitude and silence is not for me. The underground is much too depressing. He strikes a motivating pose. Okay. We're at 16. I think. I think this might be the last time we have a chance to use items. I know the next one's pretty tough. I kind of want to be at full health for it. All you taste are dry things. HP maxed out, okay. We are trapped within a barrier with no hope of freedom. A sad, sad situation, but it is not sad for I. Uh, that's not good. Okay, yeah, I definitely want to eat something else again. <laughs> it tastes toxic, your HP is maxed out. We must make do with what we have, find time for activities that make us happy. I'm not going because happiness is not a quiet virtue. Encourage monsters in hopes that it's contagious. Totally got that one. It smells like disco. Uh, you drink the CT, your souls, your soul speed increases. Your HP is maxed out. Your soul speed increases. Even if monster kind is cursed, this grim state, we must stick it out to the end, all the way to the finale. Try on the second stream, okay. Whew. I didn't, I almost didn't make it out of there. <laughs> okay. You have proven your passion, little one. I apologize if the dance was strenuous on your health. Sometimes having fun means a few doctor's visits. However, it seems that you do not love dance as much as I. Perhaps you find happiness through other means. I have never considered that for quiet monsters such as you. 
Ah, uh, well, I at least hope your day has been brightened. I wish you a fulfilling journey. Farewell. That's it? <laughs> Hello? Here, I'm gonna move this. Uh, oop. This way a little. Hopefully. Hopefully that's better. Really? That's it? He's- he's just- Dance! <laughs> dance metal! <laughs> Goodbye! Oh, there's a purse. Hmm, pick up the dimensional saddle. Satchel. Oh, uh-oh, we're going down again. I just went up an elevator, had a dance battle, and went back down. Hmm. Howdy. Looks like we're back on solid ground. That mine sure was a detour. What a bunch of slackers. Anyway, let's keep up the pace, buddy. Woo! Hello. This playground used to be fun. Ever since my playmates stopped showing up, it's become boring. I wonder where they went. Okay. There's a minecart. <laughs> okay, it's still a little loud. Is that okay for you guys? I think that's fine. Okay. Get my mouse out of the way. There's flowers! Flowey! Look at your at your brothers! Violetta passively approaches from the flower bed. Um Encourage. You tell Violetta she has nothing to fear. Alright, here goes nothing. Aw! Oh, oh my goodness! Whoa! That is a very powerful attack. She blushes. Oh, she's- okay. Uh... Good, okay. She just needs a little encouragement. They're all stuck together. That was good. What up, dude? Howdy. Gee, looks like we're getting close to an exit from this place. Aside from those mines, time has been pretty friendly to us. Should be a simple journey from here on. Clover. Oh! Uh-oh. Oh, hey! Clover! You're alive! You're here! <laughs> I can't believe myself. I left you all alone in that cave. You had to brave the dunes by yourself. I'm a horrible friend. Oh no, that's not true. They trust me to be a rogue guard and I love- Aw. Like, what is- oh, No! It's fine. Calm down. It's okay. I should take a few breaths. Aw, exactly. The crash just happened so fast. When I saw what had happened to you, I panicked. I flew over the standing landscape and found this town. I soon realized that I couldn't risk getting other monsters involved. They might have questioned me and I cannot keep secrets. They could have turned us into the more sinister royal guards. So I sat by a cactus for an hour thinking what a piece of- Oh no! And when I got the courage to travel back and apologize. Here you- Aww. So I'm deeply sorry. Forgive! Of course forgive. We should move on. I decided that I won't leave your side. Aww, I'll follow what whatever you lead. You just endured some crazy underground shenanigans, though. I'd understand if you need to rest for a bit. If you want to hang around, that's great. I didn't get to sightsee at all the... At all up on the way down here. Okay. <laughs> oh, I love her little sparkly face. That's cute. Oh, I like her running animation. Welcome to Oasis Valley, home to the largest body of water in the dunes. This is the largest body of water in the dunes? That's not very big. Hello. This monster is too busy quenching their thirst to speak. With eye-catching water like that, who could resist? 
Hello. Hello, how are you doing today? It's a lovely day, ain't it? <laughs> is it always this hot and humid, do you think? I just moved here from Snowden, so I'm not sure yet. But a local like you would know, right? I got a question. Do you de develop some sort of spectrum of hot around here? See, like, not just hot, but blazing hot versus sweltering hot. You know what? You look busy. We'll talk later or something. Aww. I like him. I like his little outfit. <sighs> Game zone! I would sell you something, but I'm on strike. The owner needs to better themselves. That's me. I'm the owner. <laughs> Have you given up your life on being a wrangler to experience modernism? I highly suggest doing so. It is the most prestigious life one could choose. Chic architecture, light switches, latte machines, it's all here. Once you indulge, you can't stop. Mm. I remember this game working more efficiently in the past. The air pressure seems to have been tampered with. Considering this table doubles as the AC, that ain't good news. Okay. Can I play? No. Spend- no! I don't wanna- I wanna spend gold to play. Hello? Yo, what do you want? I'm in the middle of a gaming sesh. Oh, you're a kid. I bet you're good at these machines. Have you tried out Mimi Love Blaster? It's addicting. I suck at it, though. I hear there's a final boss, but I've never seen anyone reach it. But you could totally kick its butt. Hmm. The child's drawing depicting three happy monsters. My precious family by me. Oh, that's so cute! Okay. So what are we doing here? Hello? Hello, traveler. Would you be interested in having your fortune told? Only five gra- uh, five- <laughs> I keep thinking it says five grams. It's five gold. Um... You may be thinking that price is a little low. But quality fortune from an experienced fortune teller costs 5G? Well, your suspicions would be correct. See, I'm a fortune teller in training, so I'm selling tiny fortunes. Practice, you see. So, can I interest you in a bite-sized fortune? Sure. Let us see what the world has in store for you. Okay. Hmm, oh dear. The future seems to indicate you're in for a tumble. <laughs> it looks like a big one, too. It will happen very soon. Mmm, tumbleweed. I guess I got a little excited and missed the second part. Sorry for the scare. Looks like everything is fine after all. Okay, I guess that's it. Hello. Visiting from the Wild East, are you? I must say, I haven't seen your face around these parts. Welcome to my abode, young one. As you may notice, I have a knack for the preservation of life. Grass is very rare here. For any to grow, there must be a source of water close by or amongst the ground. I try my best to keep my own little patch happy. So it's one of my many hobbies. Aw, cool, okay. What are your other hobbies? Hmm... Ooh! Very cool. Oh, there's a little door here. Can't go in there, I guess. So why are we here? Little pyramid turtle. There was something about the AC. Hello! Hey, dude. I know you'll say no, but I'm selling free hugs. Darn it, you already read my sign, didn't you? Oh no! There's a spider. Like from the first game? No. Igloo! Sand glue. Hmm. Oh, oh hey, Clover, remember how I told you I apprehended a human last week? That's her. <laughs> what? You still think I'm 
Your captain did explain to you that I'm not a human, right? Please tell me she did. Oh, I'm so sorry. I just thought you... No, no, I'm sorry. I just get it often. It's totally fine. You wouldn't believe how many grumpy monsters I deal with. Not that you're a grumpy monster. I'm sure you're very nice. Uh, anyway, what's your name? It's Clover. Not you, silly her. Uh, Red. That's what your colleagues have kept calling me every time I get falsely apprehended. To be honest, I hoped that eventually I'd be caught enough that y'all'd recognize me and it'd stop. It might just be wiser to join the guard at this point. Join? That would be fantastic! I'd be glad to show you the ropes of my job! You could even help me build puzzles. That might be a code violation now that I think about it. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's fine. What? It can't be that easy to get in, right? I mean, they let me join! <laughs> We'll figure it out. Me and Clover have some important business to attend to, but I should be free next week. You can find me doing my duty around Snowden any day. You're serious? I mean, uh, aw, sounds like a plan. See, aw, yay! They're friends. Cute. Oh, uh oh. Sorry, I'm I'm not home. Hey, Orion! Thank you for the hydrate. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not home. Oh, is this the mail? <gasps> yeah, the mail mail! You have a watch. If you don't, that's fine. Because you know what time it is? Mail time. You received mail! I truly hope you like your mail. As for me, I must set sail. Hooray! It's mail. We gotta check our mail. Wait, how do I check the mail? Ah, oh, there we go. Shuffler's letter. To our latest Shuffler's recruit. Toast here. There's someone out in the wild that we forgot to warn you about. This scruffy fellow with the blue hat. Don't interact with him or support his endeavors. I won't tell you why. I won't tell you why because this letter reads way cooler as a mystery. <laughs> now I'll let Swig finish this. He gets upset when he misses out on writing letters. Yeah, upset. Swig. Okay. Very cool. Okay. Ooh! Are we supposed to do something in this town, or is this just like a checkpoint? What's up with this? I guess this is just like a checkpoint. I feel like there might be more to do, but I have no idea what it could be. So off we go. Oh, hello. What's up? Sorry, buddy, this path is blocked. I ain't moving no matter what anyone does to provoke me. You wouldn't understand. Girl boss behavior. There ain't nothing to see here. Last I checked, anyway. Maybe one day there will be a great treasure line beyond my hot bod. But as of right now, there is only a hot bod. Mine. Stone bathing is a delicate process. The more you make me flap my lips, the more uneven my tan will be. At this rate, I'm gonna be a whole ass gradient. <laughs> Yeah, uh-huh, cool. Keep disturbing me, love it. Yeah, uh, oh, okay. I guess that's the end. She's eating a bunch of apples. Hmm. There's a well! The Dunes Wishing Well. Old AG, 
close to your chest, think what you want most, and toss it in. You never know. Even if enough monsters wish for something, it may come true. I left all my G at home. Would you lend me one? My Greek cousin just texted me in Greek and I always feel like a fraud when I can't respond. Don't feel like a fraud! It's fine! Respond in German and see what he does then, or English. As long as you can communicate, nothing else matters. I wish that Clover will make it back home safely. Now you have me and a wish on your side. Oh, that's so freaking cute. An oak base with iron nails. Oh, sorry, I was nerding out for a second. Sure, it's a cool wagon. Oh, I love her. A car nerd, jeez. I think someone's coming this way. Oh, I love the way that they walk. Guys, look here. Someone new has stumbled into our humble town. He's a vampire! This better not be another joke. Oh my gosh, I love them. For once, don't look like it is. <gasps> a chipmunk! Hi, strangers. Oh, hello! We're just passing through. We mean no harm, I promise. That's what the last guy said. She's asking me why I didn't fly down with my dad and answered with skating thumbs up. Aw. That's what the last guy said. Let's just say he's one with the wind now. Oh my gosh. You... I'm just kidding around. You were shaking in your boots for a second. Oh, she's so nervous! That wasn't very funny, Edward. I can assure you we are a delight to be around. Nothing you can't handle, I'm sure. You look so scared! Why do you two insist on scaring away every monster you meet? At least Mooch never oversteps her bones. Never! Um, well, it was a pleasure to meet you for, but we'll be going now. Hold it right there. Ah! <laughs> Blah, blah, blah. That ain't a way to treat guests. I like his poncho. The name's North Star. I run the sound. Oh, he's kind of like star shaped. I like that. Not alone, of course. These fine monsters are my posse. Together we are. The Feisty Five! Aww, I love them! Our name stands for. Fear uh, fearlessness. Excellence. Intuition. Sneakiness. Toughness. <laughs> okay, so, wait. Was it feisty? Okay, youthfulness. Justice. Justice? The J is <laughs> Aww. Now that we're introduced, I'd be glad to give you and your buddy a tour. Hold on, your buddy? Are they a human? Oh my gosh. Um, well, I won't say no. I knew it. There ain't no doubt in my mind. But this kid is a real living authentic human. Sorry about this. I gotta seize this once in a lifetime opportunity. Uh oh. Ah, Clover, that's a mighty fine name. To answer your question, Feathers, Clover and I've got a got a town to run. Don't Feathers me, you're speaking to Marlet of the Royal Guard. I can and will report you to King Asgore for this abrasive behavior. Your Royal Guard? That's funny, because I don't see anything to indicate that. No armor, weapon, badge? I left it at my post in Snowden. Please don't bother trying to fool- Aww. I'm truly sorry about this, I really am, but business is business. Together we'll be the feisty six. The... alliteration... Oh no. I can't go up against these guys, don't worry, I'll figure this out. Star, should we be doing this? Poor Marlet is upset. 
Don't be a buzzkill more. Oh, when's the last time something exciting happened around here? This town is full of excitement, especially now. Let's go. No. Oh, and feathers. Welcome to the wild east. Oh, there I go. <laughs> Goodbye, Marlot. Barkeep, growlers of ice water for the house. I have an announcement to make. I like this. Oh no. <laughs> this little feller is Clover. Hey, Star. What the hell are you doing bringing a human in here? Now I know what you're all thinking, but trust me, Clover here ain't no greenhorn. They know what they're doing. Just look at that hat. <laughs> Actually, this could be fun. Dina hit me. Wait, Dina? Oh, okay. No more heckling from the crowd. Ladies and gentle monsters, as Saroba said, Clover is a human. Ooh, okay. I know, exciting stuff, a real honor. Now I would let Clover tell you all about their life. But I've been studying up. I'm a bit of a human expert, if you didn't know. Oh great, here we go. Here we go indeed. Did you know that humans use monsters for transportation? Ooh. It's true! Large four-legged monsters. They put a seat on the top of them and everything. They're called- Yeah, I was just about to say, so are horses monsters? So you know one of them personally, that's quite impressive. Did you also know that humans are fireproof? When they're feeling accomplished, they ride monsters straight into a huge fiery sphere? So the monsters burn, right? Most monsters aren't fireproof. Star, are you saying my friend Horses was killed by a fiery sphere? No, well, I'm not quite sure. I'll ask Clover. Do the monsters die? No? See? <laughs> Everyone's fireproof! Oh no. Anyways, did you know the... Look, Star, you don't need to keep this up. Because it's all true, every word. Ha, I knew it. I'm pretty darn good, aren't I? Aw, you're the best. He's the sheriff, okay. That makes sense. I reckon we're done here, y'all can go back to your daily lives. Hops up on stage. I have an announcement! Look what I found! As for you, it's about time to see what this town has to offer. I would give you a personal tour, but if there's one thing you have uh, where... It's free! No! Clover! <laughs> Clover confirmed American. Hmm. Oh, the male whale is here. Who's this guy? I came free with the last shipment of bottles? I came free with the last shipment of bottles? What? You're Clover, am I right? Your name has come up once or twice. You look confused. Oh, right. I'm not rhyming. <laughs> yeah, that's just a company policy. It gets a little tiresome sometimes. But other than that, I have no complaints. It's a great job, wouldn't trade it for the world. I'm a little worried though. These days those fancy cell phones are all the rage. I don't know how long the mail service will. Oh me oh mama, breaks come to an end. See you next time there's letters to send. Aww. Bye mail whale. <laughs> I love her. Or him. Them. Gender neutral. Howdy howdy human, take a gander at my wares. Hard hitting stuff is off limits. Um, well I don't have anything to sell, so I will see. Adult soda! Root beer. <laughs> I'll take a nice water. Adult soda, that's cute. What's up with you? The saloon isn't always this crowded. 
It's happy hour, you see? Half price drinks. But you don't know that, so they'll continue to sell you full price drinks. Hmm. Oh, there's like a little rafter section. That's cool. Oh. You there, human. You okay? Uh, um, I'm gonna say not really. About what I expected. I apologize for Star's antics. He's really into human culture and whatnot. You show up here and he flips out. I mean, it's quite unbelievable. A few humans have wandered into the underground before, but they never set foot in these sands. All that to say, I'm glad you did. My name's Saroba. I'm a friend of... Stars, but not part of his posse. They're a bit too rowdy for my taste. I'm Clover. Welcome to the underground, Clover. Your attire is surprising, I must say, but um, I won't press you on the matter- my attire. I'm afraid Star's going to drag you into his activities for a while. You must have places to go. The castle, the barrier, you probably want to go home. If I'm being honest, I haven't seen Star this ecstatic in some time. Maybe you should entertain him a bit, roll with his punches. I'll see what I can do about allowing you to leave. I know of a safe path to Hotland through the... I'm getting ahead of myself. Talk to you later. Come on! You're not gonna tell me? <laughs> Gee, seems like my greeting has found its home. Like the hat? It's a disguise! <laughs> This area is pretty populated, so I picked this up just to be safe. You being separated from Marlet is pretty lucky, but I hope the star guy doesn't hold you here for long. I may have to intervene if he does. Jeez, Wild East. Wild East town. This town is quite the spectacle, is it not? Aha, I wouldn't bury myself in its sand if I could. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. What's in here? Whoa. There's a hole in the floor. How comfy! A firm sleeping bag sits in the corner, threatening to restrict free sleepers. You press on the mattress and watch your hand get swallowed up by the memory foam. So soft! You push the hammock. Its sway is hypnotizing. A couch not unfit for a thrift store. These cramped living conditions are bringing back unpleasant memories. Aww! You turn the TV on. It's your favorite channel. <laughs> okay. Surprisingly clean kitchen. What's this? Weird. You haven't seen any cats around. Oh, it's a cat bed. Okay. Oh, yeah. There's like a little stair on the wall that's like nailed to the wall for kitties. Oh, whoops. Hello. Welcome to the Wild East Clinic. We put the hospital in hospitality. Um, they call me the duck. Are you sick? Hurt? What is your diagnosis? Hurt. Yes, of course. We have a tough one. I have just the boost you need. For an upfront price of 30G, I can overcharge your health? It's an experimental medicine, but who said I was qualified? Uh, no thanks. How much G do I have anyways? I have 27, so I don't have enough anyways, okay. Um... Jail? But hey, it's you. What's up? Um, about Marla. I totally get why you'd be upset, but I can explain, I think. See, if she is a royal guard, that would cause problems. She threatened to report Star to King Asgore. One thing leads to another, and the Wild East is in flames. Well, maybe. I'm sure Asgore would understand, but there are others. The head of the royal guard, particularly. Oh no, the little face he did. Hopefully you didn't have a run-in with her. I mean, I've never met her, I've just heard we look alike. Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember that. Hey. I don't know if you're aware of this, but... There's a fun card game set up in the stable. My friend runs it while I oversee the profits. Oh gosh. You should try- I don't want to gamble! <gasps> cat! Howdy, you got any of that- any of that good catnip? I've been dying to try some. Is what I would say if I was a dirty bandit! Nya ha 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 ha. You were almost tricked. I could have caught you and turned you into the feisty five. Be more careful, partner. Got junk? Sell it right here at Blackjack's. Today's special fancy holster. Great for defense. Um. Mm, 
I, I like my silver scarf. It, I, I think it's kind of cracked. An old necklace discarded in the sand. Looks expensive. Take it? Sure. Greetings, take a gander, just don't touch anything. Heels, question mark, it may be edible? <laughs> Gunpowder? No. Wild revolver. Um... Oh, do I not have the little satchel anymore? I had a... Necklace is worth a hundred. I'll sell it. I will make good use of this. Hopefully I don't regret that. Alright, let's see what this guy can do for us. Let's begin. Little bit of this, and done. You gained- Ooh! 15! Holy crap! I'd say that was worth it. Okay, so I'm- I'm stuck here until they decide to let me leave. Sorry for being so forceful. I'm just doing what Star thinks is best. This whole thing snuck up on us, that's for sure. I'm optimistic about it. Hmm. So, she told me to put up with Star's antics for a little bit while she tries to convince him. Hello! Oh, you're cool looking! May I interest you in a game of Six Shooter? It's a simple card game of the matching variety. It costs 3G to play with a potential profit. Um, sure. I will explain its rules, so listen carefully. A stack of 36 cards is split into 20, then laid on the table separately. There are six card types, each with a different familiar face. You must match cards of the same face, but only if they are touching. Once two are matched, they will be removed from the grid. Two more cards from the reserve 16 card deck will replace them. Okay. Your goal is to enter the table by matching every card. If you win in under 45 seconds, you'll be rewarded 25G. Under a minute, and you will be rewarded 15G. Any time after that will allow you to break even with 3G. If the deck is empty and there are no possible matches left, you will lose with no reward. <sighs> yes, I I think I'll catch on as as we play. Ooh, okay. Okay. Um. Uh oh, I think I might have lost. Oh, like this, though. That's, that counts. win in order to get, like, a special prize. Seven monsters are enjoying a nice fair game of poker. A nice fair game of poker? How do I keep losing? What? 
Suddenly, Northstar appeared and ruined his lasso. He wrangled that skyscraper without breaking in a sweat. Wilton gave Northstar one million G. What? Are you ready to- are you ready to begin? Did you talk to the townsfolk at Scorbury Nook and Cranny? You're gonna need to if you want to be a good deputy. That's right. I'm heavily considering you for my coveted sidekick position. Now don't get too high and mighty just yet. To be a deputy, you gotta know how to wrangle the horses. Me and my posse are gonna show you how it's done. I wouldn't drag anyone off the road and give them special treatment. You'll have to prove your guns and skills. That being said, let's go meet up with the others. Okay. Hmm. Ah! Ah! I lost one. I thought we'd start with the classic game that involves pacing. You mean what I see you doing every night outside the house? Back and forth, whispering to yourself. But I don't do that. Some monsters have unique ways of getting their thoughts out. Other monsters. Oh. Can anyone correctly guess what game I'm hitting at? A duel. Okay. A du Mission one, dangerous duel. I do like the sort of title cards they have going on. This is cute. Clover doesn't look right. Look at their hat. It's tattered and practically deco- What? And that iron in their holster, what kind of pea shooter is that? Cool Ace, I'm sure they tried their best. No, Ace has a point. What kind of host am I if I don't spoil- Aw, spoil you with gifts! To the weapon store. Dress to impress? Okay, I guess we're going clothes shopping. Old Blackjack doesn't like doing business with me. I often borrow his wares and break or lose them. Oh. Open up, Blackjack. Don't make me use force. I make the law so I can legally shoot down your doors. Get off my property, North Star. I told you I wouldn't even sell you a gumball. Aw, oh, come on, partner. I don't even know what a gumball is. And those last transactions were ages ago. I'm a changed monster. You lost one of my premium revolvers last week, frolicking in your sandstorm. Look, I promise this is a different scenario, Jack. I won't even step inside. You can meet me out here. Aww. Don't worry, Clover. He's coming. <laughs> hey! Make it speedy. Of course. I was just gonna ask you to sell a gun to this child. <laughs> I worded that poorly. <laughs> This ain't a child, you see, I was joking. They're just a very small but very tough monster. I'll give you 400 G. Well, why didn't you open with that? <laughs> Come inside and I'll fetch the paperwork. See, I had it under control. Wait out here. Uh, I don't know if I can condone selling guns to children. Can I get a yeehaw? Aw, he's cute. Let's see what you've got. Take the this trusty six shooter as a gift from me. You got a wild revolver. Carefully aim at the dummy and take your shot. Don't worry, it ain't alive. <laughs> You attempt to speak to the dummy. North Star is confused. Uh, actually, that's good. Intimidation of your opponent can decrease their focus. Good thinking. Smells like lead and burlap. Dummy. Attack, defense. Just a dummy. Aww. <laughs> okay. What? What? 
Did that- did I do it? I'd say you're natural. I'm impressed. I don't- I don't know. I didn't like that. You, you definitely passed this part of training. Was there a possibility that I could have not done that and just talked to the dummy the whole time? I gotta go tell Sarobo about this. She's a big doubter when it comes to you. Let's ride on. Okay. Oh, I like the wipe transition. That was cute. Guess what just happened? You locked up another royal guard against their will? Hey, Feathers was a serious roadblock to all of this. It's only a temporary solution. I don't feel right doing it, I swear. I'm just giving you a hard time. What did you want to tell me? Clover just passed their first round of training. They're quite the sharpshooter. Almost as good as me. <laughs> don't disrespect the kid. Clover can hold their own and lend them. I know, I'm just very impressed. Aww. Aww, he's blushing! I have a spare somewhere in my house. Over, wait here while I fetch it. Maybe while they wait, you could get to know them, Sarova. Should be fun, right? Sounds good. Be right back, partner. Be right back, partner! Are you into all this? Not really. Sorry that starts dragging you around so much then. This whole thing is like a dream to him. It's kind of goofy, but it's nice to see someone so passionate. Oh, you're passionate and go too far. You wouldn't believe how much his parents talk to me about it. Really kind folks who own a farm up north. It's actually very lush there, if you can believe it. And the corn they grow is so good. Oh, the corn! They used to give my husband Shujin baskets full every other week. Anyway, I trailed off. Where was I? I'm back. He's back! Turns out I had one just your size and in the same color. It's like destiny. Uh-oh. You walking? You got a nice hat! Wow. I couldn't even tell it changed if I were standing from afar. Looks great. What do you think, Zoroba? It's nice. He's so sweet! He's kind of a weirdo, but he's sweet. Okay. What's wrong? I'll tell you what's wrong. My life's a wreck. Wasted, woeful, washed up. I was supposed to make it big. I was gonna be a big time producer. You know, show business. I couldn't tell you where it went wrong. I studied hard, I graduated middle school. <laughs> what else do you need? Stuck my way into gig booking at a joint in Hotland with potential in my eyes. One day this robot fellow rolled up to me and asked if I'd ever produced an artist. Now I'm a great producer, make hot beats on my computer every weekend. I had the talent but I lacked the vision. I told that one-wheeled television they wouldn't make it in the industry. What an idiot I was. They soon garnered a following and totally exploded. Not literally. Maybe. Look, kid, I'll tell you this. Sometimes, it's like we don't control our lives. It has a cruel way of teaching us lessons. Have a little foresight and try not to grow arrogant like I did. Don't you forget that. Aw, poor guy. So he could've... produced for, uh... Oh, everyone's gonna get mad at me for not remembering their name. The box robot guy. Da -da -da -da. No, no, that's Sans, isn't it? Da -da 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 that's Sans's uh, theme. What is the one I'm thinking of? I forget. It's a good song. I remember playing it through when we did Undertale the first time. Oh, hey, aren't you the guy who like tries to sell me stuff? Yeah. You're probably wondering why I'm here. Surely a monster of my status should always be out there hustling. Well, here's a tip from a pro. Always be your own boss. If you ever feel like you need a break, take the opportunity. I'm always traveling back and forth, making dough, being cool. It's an exhausting life. Am I wrong? It's easy. Ooh, I see. You think it's easy. Well, it kinda is, not gonna lie. 
Look, mor moral of the story is don't overwork yourself. That's about as wise as I get. Don't get used to it. <laughs> okay. I think we might end it here, because I started stream a little bit late, and no one's here. So we're gonna just call that a VOD, and I'll play some music out. Uh, but first thing, I kinda have to... I'll go save in the middle of town. for chilling. Anybody who watches the VOD, hope you enjoyed.